Few tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Goodbye, Father. To hell with this place. I'm leaving. Try and stop me. She is. It's got to be her. Then here goes nothing. <clears throat> In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hail, noble cousin. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. You can't hear me all the way where you are, goddess, but thank you. Damn you. here. wonder where I can use this. I'm hurt. Can't heal myself, but I can fight.
him from the dead. Nice. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. You've got quite the fighting spirit in you there, I have to say. Most intriguing, and yet no surprise for someone born in hell itself. You come on out of there and tell me all about it. I'm a fellow student of death, you see.
exit has its own reward. Witches. Hades, where... Wait, I know you. Guess that means you died out there, huh? Well, don't be sad, though. Pretty much everybody dies sometime. Some of us more than others. Back already. Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. So how is your wanton ransacking of my domain? Greetings, Father. My ransacking was a delight, thank you for asking. So I'll just be on my way again. Be on your way indeed. What do I care? You shall never reach the surface. Go, see for yourself. <laughs> Infernal watchdog Cerberus regards the underworld prince with mixed emotions from purest joy to deepest melancholy. You watch over things for me, won't you, boy? You know I'd take you if I could. There's a good boy. Cerberus merely feigns concern for you. You've returned. Good to see you, lad, despite the circumstances. Remember your training out there. The pain of death is but another obstacle. And fear is for the weak. Take care, Achilles. The House of Hades. That dark and lavishly appointed lair of the Underworld's king is home not just to him, but to his willful progeny. You know I can hear you, old man. You have come home. Do not despair, child. Such setbacks are inevitable and may be overcome with effort and with time. You made contact with the goddess Athena. She shall be true to her word. I believe it, Nex. I'm grateful that you put us into contact. I know you took a considerable risk in reaching out. The risk is not to me. I expected the Olympians would involve themselves in this eventually. Reveal to them no more than they already know. Are we understood? Yes, we are. Then go. Hey, room. I'm back. Night and darkness guide me. set. The bedchambers of Prince Zagreus lie in a perpetual state of utter disarray, despite his lord and master of the house repeatedly insisting that he pick everything up. Oh, come on. It's not that bad, is it? Okay, I can escape through that pink window there. I can 
do this. First get past the retro shades of Tartarus. Easier said than done. And doubtless I'll be running into Meg. The River of Flame ought to be just beyond. Find a way up to Elysium from there, and after that... All right, let's give it another shot. I'll have to come back later. No turning back. <laughs>